Hi dear doers, welcome to this video on unrealized currency gains and losses. And before going any further, it is important to understand how unrealized differ from realized gains and losses. To help you, we have added a small reminder table which you can read by pausing this video. Unrealized concerns open items in your balance sheet, like invoices and bills not paid yet or bank accounts in a foreign currency. As the currency rates vary all the time, those open amounts in our books need to be revalued again at the end of the fiscal year or sub-period, depending on the company size and preferences. We need to identify the potential gain or loss based on the difference between the currency rate at the accounting date of the open item and the rate at the end of the fiscal period. This difference is uncertain as you do not know if it will be the same once the item is balanced out in the accounting. The reporting goal is to represent at the end of each period the most realistic image of the financial situation of a company. In ADU, this can only be done with a manual trigger on the specific report and as it is uncertain, you need to reverse the entry at the beginning of the new period. These entries only serve to represent the right amount in your piano and balance sheet. Don't forget to watch our video on Realize Gains and Losses if you haven't yet, as it will help you better understand this one. With this being said, let's now jump in ADU to show you how this works. Okay guys, when you want to book unrealized gains and losses entries, the, the thing you need to do, of course, is go in the accounting application and to access the dedicated report, let's go in the reporting menu and at the bottom, you will find the unrealized currency gains and losses menu. Once you're here, you see the report is divided by currency. So you have for the different currencies that you have in your open items. And as you see, we have payables, receivables, bank accounts in foreign currencies, and so on. You will see here the buy-ins in the foreign currency, the buy-ins at the operation dates, the current rate, and finally, the adjustment that you need to make for every account. As you can see, it's as of today, but you can, of course, change the date filters, and you can also adapt the exchange rates that are applied here. So today, those are the latest currency rates that we have in Udo, but you can do it, change it manually. So let's say I want to change it for the Japanese yen. Automatically, the amount has changed, and you can see the adjustment that we need to make. You have uh, the indication that you are using custom exchange rates, so you can also always, always reset to Odoo's rate if you need to. Once you're happy with this, you can use the adjustment entry. And as you can see, the pop-up will appear, indicating you which journal to choose, the expense and income account for the gain and loss that you want to book, the date of the entry and the, its reversal date. So here I'm just going to put the end of the month and the day of the next period to book the reversal date. Once you're happy with the preview of your accounting entry, you just want to create the entry automatically. Odoo will create it as well as the reversal entry, and as those are in the future, those will be automatically posted at their accounting date. That's how easy it is to book unrealized gains and losses entry. Thank you for watching and ciao a tutti.